Welcome to 302 Green Oak Drive. Just purchased the property in February 2013, and it's a lovely little house located just off of John, the beginning of John King Road in a nice little subdivision with cul-de-sacs and nice family houses that average a hundred to hundred and fifty thousand dollar homes and this house right here whoever built this house apparently built it from the beginning and planted trees like that special maple and all the cedars and there's two peach trees and a peach tree over there that's in bloom there's orange trees in the back that we'll see but I'm trying to keep this to about two minutes just because but all the trash here we just after buying it they trimmed and got rid of bags and bags of leaf but we got the garage opener here for the house as we walk into it and do a brief run here as we enter the garage it's just a nice oversized single garage with a easy access attic it has the lights that come in a washer and dryer will hook up right there general shelving hot water heater you go into the kitchen the kitchen is like the, we have quality stuff in our big house, but this uh, refrigerator is just super nice and stove, dishwasher, just kind of make even the kitchen better just as it is. Everything's custom in this house as far as where you put it. Most people would like this custom because you can still do what you want to do. It doesn't take too much out of it. The only thing we don't like about this house is the green on these cabinets. Everything else we've liked about it pretty much exceptionally good the people did a super good job with all kinds of special lighting and built-in china cabinet here we back up china cabinet here fireplace with vented fan that works beautifully this is a actual waterfall comes out of the wall and it works i'll turn it on these lights come on over here and the waterfall if you can see it on the video starts shooting the water out i'm gonna turn that back off and just look at the general living room from the front door going back towards this back bedroom back here this back bedroom back here walking into the kitchen again is uh just it's right off the living room so that's maybe bad in a way but it's okay and it's got an access door so somebody could have like an efficiency or access to the outside then you have a bathroom here we turn the lights on in it which is a nice full bath. It has a full walk-in closet here with shoe racks already built on it. And so that's a pretty decent closet. Not enough to handle your average woman, but better than average probably. <laughs> All right, so there we go. And then we're gonna walk back to the back of the house here and look at these custom back, uh, Rooms back here, my wife loves this cedar closet right here, but you can't see it because it's dark and I ain't turning the light on. It's just beautiful cedar closet. Nice bathroom, basic, another full bath. And then you have this, which since it don't have a closet, it, instead of three bedrooms, you could use it as a bedroom, but it don't have an actual closet, but it looks like it'd be a bonus room or a really excellent office area with the way that's set up there. And then you come into this one, which would be a bedroom that has you know the built-in shelving there and it's got built-in shelving here it's got built-in dresser shelving there and a closet there to keep it short I'll roam through here again and go out into the backyard which is paradise go into this backyard and it's got this awesome decking system place a lit up little place for a barbecue grill to go under there we just picked the last orange off of this tree and ate it in February. It was very good. And you have this nice decking area here. They, it was a foreclosure. And apparently they removed the pool that was in here, but they, it could be stuck back in there. And the entire salt water system to hook that pool back up is sitting right here. Easy job. Salt water is wonderful. For those of you that don't know, you don't taste salt. It's just no chlorine beautiful beautiful trees back here nice walkway that you couldn't even see this walkway until we raked the leaves off of it we didn't know it existed and this pond was just filled in bushes overwhelming encroaching very awesome trees very nice pond could have fish in it you could lay in there and almost twiddle around with kids too i see now i'm going to end it right here as i turn to the front of this place 
and show you the little kumquats here that are sweet on this tree. And that'll be the end of 302 Green Oak for now.